All right, let me show you something. I'll just show you the watches, and then I'll take my seat. Okay, come with me to the book of Acts. It's a, uh, the book of Acts is our textbook as apostolic people. Um, the actors in the book of Acts were trained by Jesus himself. So whatever you see them do is a pattern pointing to our own generation because the lectures they received have universal and transgenerational potency and effect. So let us take a look at the book of Acts quickly and uh, spy the book of Acts to see at what times did the saints in the book of Acts had, have angelic encounters outpourings from heaven, supernatural things happen. Let us just see at what times. Can we do Acts chapter 2 verse 15 quickly? If the, the man managing my screen here and my Bible, if you can partner with me, I will save time in trying to explain this aspect. Okay, see, we are in Acts chapter 2 verse 15 now. He said, for this, this was Peter's attempt to explain the activities that have taken place on the day of Pentecost. He was operating in the capacity and the wisdom of an interpreter because a spiritual thing had happened and there was a tendency that the thing that had happened would be held in a bad light. They had already said that the reason why they were speaking this way was because they were drunk with new wine. So there was a need for an interpreter to come upon the scene and to explain what is happening. What is happening is spiritually motivated. So we need someone that is filled with the spirit, that receives wisdom from the spirit and utterance from the spirit to bring perspective about what is happening. This was his attempt to bring that kind of explanation. For these are not drunken as ye suppose, seeing that it is but the third hour of the day. My emphasis is not the theological explanation for what took place on the day of Pentecost, but I'm trying to spy into the times when these spiritual things took place and there was an invasion of earth from heaven. Are you still with me? So this one we just read about is the third hour. Can you give us a simpler translation that can tell us if it's nine o'clock or 12 o'clock? Third hour is so complex for people in London. So, can we have a simpler translation, please? Okay, so we are on New Living Translation. These people are not drunk, as some of you are assuming. Nine o'clock in the morning is too much early for that. That's what New Living, so, so this is nine o'clock. Okay. Let's go to Acts chapter three, verse one on the screen, still using the same translation so that it can be so easy for everybody to pick up. Acts chapter 3, verse 1, please. Peter and John went to the temple one afternoon to take part of the 3 o'clock prayer service. All right, so 9 o'clock, are you there? Do you know where nine o'clock is on, on the clock? Yes. So you know where three o'clock is? Yes. Okay, so let's go on. Um, Acts chapter 10, verse 3 and verse 30. Acts chapter 10, verse 3 and verse 30. Please, the man on the console, be fast. You, you normally take uh, about 35 seconds out of my time. <laughs> Acts chapter 10 verse 3 and this one now is 45. Oh my God. Okay, so let me do my thing myself, please. Acts chapter 10 verse 3. One afternoon about 3 o'clock he had a vision in which he saw an angel of God coming toward him, Cornelius, the angel said. So we have 9 o'clock here. We have 3 o'clock here. We have what? Are you seeing any pattern? Yeah. Okay, let's go on. Verse 30. And Cornelius replied, Four days ago I was praying 
in my house and about the same time three o'clock in the afternoon suddenly a man dazzling with in dazzling clothes was standing in front of me all right acts chapter 10 verse 9 acts chapter 10 verse 9 quickly acts chapter 10 verse 9 the next day uh, cornelius messengers were nearing town peter went up on the flat roof to pray it was about noon this was when peter had not encounter where he saw a sheet coming out of heaven do you still have a picture of the clock in your mind can you see it's it's all on the cardinal points Those cardinal points are actually time windows that have spiritual significances. Mm. Mm. And meanwhile, uh, I have worked uh, uh, in the petroleum industry. I don't know if, it's, if the Lord will allow me to say, okay. I don't know if he will allow me to say this. My line of work and what I have discovered, because I, I can tell you that 7 o'clock is not 7 o'clock. Because the way we, in uh, shipping and navigation, the way we consider a day is when the tide comes. Mm. The tide can come by 6 o'clock today, and in two weeks' time, it will come by 7 o'clock in the evening. And I know you know all the metrics behind uh, rotation around the sun, rotation around the axis, and revolution around the sun, and all those things. It has, it has its place. And I don't have time to do the calculations for you. And, and to explain to you why the average woman has a cycle for 28 days. That is consistent with the alignment of the moon. I don't, I don't have that time today. It's not, that's an advanced course for, for that matter. And you might find scriptures uh, in the Bible, where you see the word lunatic, which means smitten by the moon, it means that the moon can be programmed to smite you. Most people run mad in winter. I'm not a medical doctor. I'm just telling you. Oh, are you still following me? Okay. Okay. So, these matters, these things I'm, I'm telling you about are... <laughs> Why did, why did we come here now? <laughs> let's forget about all those things that I was talking about. Let's stay with the cardinal points. Yes. Those cardinal points are window times. Mm-hmm. Are window times where a good watched man should not be unaware of. Mm. Wow. So it doesn't matter whether you are in the office. It's is six o'clock in the evening. Maybe you are on your computer. Stop working. Stop working. If it is possible, put on your earpiece, especially if it's a very, very strict corporate environment. Put on your earpiece where you have Minister GUC ministering, Theophilus, you know, and pray in the spirit for 30 minutes before you continue. When it's 9 o'clock in the evening, stop the day gist. Stop, because the gist becomes more potent around 9 (laughs) o'clock. Stop, 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 stop. It's time to go for 30 minutes of, of tongues. 30 minutes of tongues, okay? 30 minutes of tongues. When it's 6 o'clock in the evening, maybe you are, you are on the tube, you are trying to get to Canary Wharf, uh, you know, just disconnect from that environment. If you do that consciously, and maybe you might be sleeping by 12 midnight, no problem, but you were alert. You were alert during three watches, in a day, you were alert. Now, the angels that God wants to send to you will see the order in your life and know when to come. Mm. Wow. So that's time up. God bless you. Wow. This is an eye opening message. Apostle Arumi Osai is a blessing indeed to this generation and the entire body of Christ. We pray that the Lord will keep upholding and strengthening him to continually be a shining and a burning light in this generation and beyond. 
Please, it is not enough to listen to a powerful message that blesses you. Yes, it is good, but the result can only be gotten by those who put the message into action. Only those who practice what they learned will get the result of what Apostle Arum Masai mentioned in the video. Apostle Arum Masai revealed that if you keep these watch times or times window by praying for just 30 minutes daily, then you will set up your life for angelic encounters, great art pouring from heaven, and supernatural things and shifts. Dear viewers and listeners, don't just be motivated but be inspired and let this inspiration spur you into action as this message won't profit you. I know many people might need the title or the link to the full message to watch, so kindly check the description section of this video for it or make a request for it in the comment section. Keep watching videos from this channel, visit our old videos and get blessed by them. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you love what we do. Please like, comment and share this video with almost everyone you know. This might be the answer to their frequent prayers and questions. My name remains Olawale Ayomide Ogundobi and by the grace of God, I am the admin of the Great Light Channel. Thank you for your support. God bless you. Amen.